Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel. And uh, so this week there's a bug fixing update. A lot of you have been asking me if there's uh, bug fixes for version 2004 or, um, you know, the uh, May 2020 update. So no, the updates that we had this week are only for 1809, 1903 and 1909. So the uh, November 2018 update, the May and November 2019 update. These are the updates the, uh, that we have. Um, I think it's October 2019, uh, 2018 update, sorry. So um, the version 2004 does not have a, any bug fixes right now. It is at the same version. Um, basically, it is at the same version as the um, 20H2, except for the build that is one difference. So on the May 2020 update or version 2004, you should be at 1904.1.450. Uh, the reason I'm at 20 uh, 1904.2 is because I'm on the 20H2, the fall update. So a lot of you have been asking me questions about the fall update. I was talking yesterday about how it is now being pushed to enterprise. That pretty much means it's finished because enterprise can now already test it. That also means no new features probably will come through it, but it's not going to arrive soon. We're still uh, quite a few weeks away from that. It is a version that supports this little change, as you see here, in what is the start menu, mostly. The uh, update, uh, what size is the update? It will be uh, you know several hundred megabytes. Uh, it's not a really big update. A lot of people ask the size of the updates and because they might have, you know, data caps and they're not really sure if they want to do it right now. Um, 3.9 gigabytes is uh, the download size of uh, the May 2020 update, first of all. So for those moving to version 2004, the download size is 3.9 gigabytes. The cumulative updates that come with it will add a few hundred megabytes because they will actually be uh, together. And finally, the um, the uh, 20H2, which is a cumulative update, well, that will be several hundred megabytes. Uh, I'm not really sure the exact size that was, this will be. Of course, uh, for those wondering, can I jump over 2004 and go directly to the 20H2 this fall. Uh, because it's a cumulative update, unless you use an image that already has the uh, 20H2 uh, pre-installed on it, you will have to probably go to uh, the version 2004 or the May 2020 update and then move to the cumulative update because it's a cumulative update like a service pack. So it has to apply over the update itself. Um, will the media creation tool be updated? Yes, it will. At that time when all is done, there will be a uh, image that you'll be able to download from the media creation tool that will be the uh, next fall update, the version 20H2, directly. So if you do clean install, you'll be directly uh, installing that not moving from one version, then uh, checking for Windows updates. Uh, I do get a lot of questions, people asking if the uh, bug fixes and the uh, patch Tuesday updates are integrated within the uh, image that you can download for the media creation tool. No, the media creation tool always has the basic first version. What happens is while you install it, the updates, missing updates are downloaded so at the end, when you actually have your final install, it's all there because while you were installing it, it um, downloaded all the cumulative updates that you needed to apply to be at the latest version. So that is something that is um, you know in there, but it's not part of the image itself. The image itself of the May 2020 update right now is 19041. I don't remember what number, but it's that build, that first build of 19041 that was released officially. And uh, for the rest, uh, you know, the same usual questions everybody asks is uh, how to get ready to get this next update. Should I back up? Uh, this is a question that is should never be a question because it's very simple. Everybody should back up. That's official. 
when I see somebody saying, well, you know, I shouldn't have to back up my PC because, you know, it's crappy, the reason why we have to back up. And no, it's not. Backup has always been part of what a computer is, whatever system you use, whatever computer you use, because hardware can break down. Your hard drive can fail and has nothing to do with Windows. It just is hardware failure. You can lose everything because of that, first of all. And every major update always has, uh, you know, a possibility of doing something. And that's for whatever version of Windows. And uh, last question that I've seen a few times this week, because, you know, there's a lot of bug fixes. And uh, the question from a few people is, well, how come there's so many bugs in Windows? Well, it's there's no more bugs in Windows than there is in Mac OS or in Linux or any version of an OS. It's... There are bugs because humans create the code and humans aren't perfect, so the code is not perfect. So that's pretty much the logic behind why code is flawed. Uh, and, you know, there are a lot of things that we think are okay. And then, you know, as we move on, we discover there are little things happening here. There's a lot of interaction in Windows also with all the hardware. So sometimes a driver and some Windows module and all of that could interact and do something that was not planned. Um, so, you know, it's it's part of what it is. But it's not, you know, Windows 10 is not buggier than anything else. Actually, it's extremely stable. And when I see people saying, well, you know, I've upgraded to version 2004 and it's so buggy and blue screens all the time. Well, look at your hardware or what you're installed on it because it ain't a buggy system at all uh, for blue screens and stuff like that. It's clearly your system that has a problem, not Windows. And 99% of the time, as a tech guy that I've seen blue screens and all sorts of problems, always was, um, you know, 99% of the time it was something else. It wasn't even Windows that was the problem. Something made Windows crash. Bad drivers, software that people install that are useless, uh, and very often viruses malware that people don't even know are in the system uh, they have a tendency to sometimes make the system unstable so um, you know it's not buggier than anything else I can tell you that if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching